another unboxing, and today it is Box of Horrors for March. I don't really know if these are monthly or bi-monthly or what. It seems to be cool boxes one month, Box of Horrors the next, because these are the same guy who do cool boxes. Exceptionally good boxes, I might add. Box of Horrors, UK box, 1999. Everybody loves a good bit of horror. I know I do. I spend most of my weekends watching horror with my girlfriend. So, let's get into this box and see what we have. Someday... I'm going to chop my fingers off, I'm sure. Right. Let us see what we have. I won't look in the box. I'll just grab... That's, that's packaging. I'll just grab something else. That's... What is that? Okay! <laughs> I'm not even sure. Ah. Uh. Um, Pizza Eaters Scary Movies Rainy Day Activity Book. Uh? I'm... Oh, what? Are you kidding me? This is awesome in a... It's... It's like... this. Uh, you got a word... So I should, I'll zoom in on this so you can see it better. Pizza Eaters presents Scary Movies Rainy Day Activity Book. Oh, I love this. So you got a word search. <laughs> That's absolutely terrifying, but very, very cool. Bit of Norman Bates there. Oh, these are... Yeah, I love these designs. Odd one out. This is insane. Scream, obviously. Hellraiser. There's so much cool stuff in here. Code Breakers. I like this. I know it's such a simple item. <laughs> Get Jeff Goldblum. So his little uh, teleportation device where you can turn into the fly. It's such a simple item, but I do like it. It's just a nice little thing to add into a box. Something unique. I like that. That's made my day. I don't know why. I think that's brilliant. It's um just a nice nifty little thing, and I think that's great. I can't mock that. Let's keep going with this. Next, we have a... <laughs> I don't know the value of these things, but it is nice. It's a zombie card holder, and on the back, keep calm and kill all zombies. I find that a great piece of advice. Keep calm and kill all zombies. Find a zombie, you should probably kill it before it kills you. Yes, zombie card holder. Debit cards, traffic cards, studio cards, all just oyster cards, lunch cards, blah 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 blah. Yeah, it's a card holder, essentially. So if you've got an oyster card or something, if you live in London, this might be quite useful. I don't think I've ever used a card holder in my life, and I probably should. But yeah, it's a <laughs> I just love the design of it, to be honest. Yeah, the design of that is pretty cool. Don't know the value, but it's a nice little thing. So, let's see what else we have. I said that in the weirdest way. Out next, we have the Walking Dead Tattoo Pack. Uh, what? <laughs> it's literally a tattoo pack of the Walking Dead. I'm going to just get these out and just see which ones we have, because that is beyond strange. Empty tattoos, I should hope so. Yeah, let's just zoom in and see which of these we have. Walking Dead tattoos. Haven't seen it in ages. Probably not going to remember any characters. Uh, let's see. I know that's Daryl, I know that's Rick. Shoot me again, you best pray I'm dead. Angel Wings, bloody handprint, the Walking Dead. Uh, I can't even pronounce the name. Don't even know his name. I mean, they're decent enough little tattoos or whatever you want to use them for. When you can stick them to a laptop or something, it'd probably be quite cool like that. Yeah, not bad. Kind of a throwaway item, but decent enough. So temporary tattoos for The Walking Dead. Um, probably not for me. I'm not someone who walks around rocking temporary tattoos. I'm someone who goes around rocking proper tattoos. But still, nice if you're a kid. Or maybe if you want to rock up to a Walking Dead convention. I don't know. It's kind of a throwaway item, but it's okay, I guess. Right. Let's keep going, there are more items. And I've just spotted what one of them is. We have a Funko Pop. Now I've been hearing a lot about this character and I don't know why. Recently it's, it's been around, people keep mentioning it. It's Elvira. Shot on the back. We'll get this on the spinny disc of joy and then we'll check her out. So here we have the Elvira Pop. Number 375. Oh, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Um, Elvira was played by Cassandra Peterson. She was essentially like a horror TV host. 
uh, in the 80s and she hosted a program called Elvira's Movie Macabre. I could be wrong on that, but I think I'm right. Uh, it was just a very strange thing. Pretty much before my time, but I have seen clips of it. And Elvira's pretty much just a cult icon. You can see from the box, which is amazingly detailed. That's what Elvira looked like. So you can kind of see why she was so popular. But let's get her out of the box and see what she looks like. This is one of the most ridiculously detailed and good looking pops I think I've ever seen. From the eyeliner and the sort of blush and you can see all the details, even on her rings and the colouring. The paint job on this is fantastic and they've done such a good job of capturing the character. It's quite astonishing actually. The hair is the thing that gets me. Because her hair was absolutely insane and huge and long and everything. And they've done an amazing job. It's the detail on these Funkos recently that have been getting me just thinking they're really trying with the hairstyles and stuff like that. But this is a really cool pop. I'm going to be quite happy to add this to my horror collection. I have no complaints about this one. So yeah, that's Elvira. That's kind of weird, but it's actually a very cool pop. I mean, yeah, the design of that is absolutely amazing. That is really cool. Um, yeah, that's a nice addition to my collection, that. Not bad at all. Okay. One more item, let's see what it is. Just gonna take this out of the package. And then you can see it. <sighs> Star Trek Skeletrex. I've never seen these in my life, but this is amazing. It's it's a skeleton borg. Like, the Borg were awesome, but this is just... I mean, really? On the back? Who's that? Captain Kirk, Cole, and the Borg. We should get him on the Spinny Disco Joy. This is one of the greatest little things I think I've ever seen. So here we have the Star Trek Skeletrek Borg drone. This looks brilliant. The Borg are probably my favourite characters from Star Trek. I remember watching them in Star Trek Next Generation where Q threw the Enterprise into a place it shouldn't be and they came face to face with the Borg Q and they were bloody terrifying. But yeah, the Borg were great, Resistance is futile and they basically assimilated anyone they met including Jean-Luc Picard and they became Borg. They had like a collective mind and it was all kinds of insane. This thing looks brilliant and I just want to get it straight out of this box and check out what it looks like. Even if you're not a huge fan of Star Trek, this thing is brilliant. The detail is great. Its head and arms are articulated. But I just love this whole sort of skelly Trek idea. I think this is wonderful. I might be alone on this, but this is one of the best things I've seen in a long time. It's almost got a Tim Burton-esque feel to it, I guess. But the detail's great. The tubes, the pipes, the detailing, the colouring is brilliant. This may be one of my favourite things I've received in a box in a very long time. I'm stunned by that. I don't know why, it's not the heaviest thing in the world, but I think that is brilliant. I love creepy weird things and that is a fantastic idea. Star Trek skeletons. The detail is brilliant. Um, okay, let's just check out what we got. Walking Dead tattoos. Possibly a throwaway item, still kind of nifty if you like The Walking Dead. I love this. The sort of the riddles and the colouring book of the Pizza Eaters, Scary Movies, Rainy Day activity book. Such a simple item, but great fun. I love it when people put just something fun in a box. It may not be worth much value, but it's fun, and I like that. The zombie cars holder, and just the face, and the keep calm and kill zombies. Uh, that is great. It's... Uh, don't know if it's got much value to it, but it's still a great item. The Elvira Mistress of the Dark Pop. I'm still just... That is amazing. I love that pop. That pop is awesome. So detailed, so well done. Just mind-bogglingly good. It's just, yeah. If you like Funko Pops, you might like this, especially if you're a horror fan. She is pretty iconic. And possibly my favorite item in a box for a long time. The Borg drone, Star Trek Skeletrek figure. Just, I don't know. Um, 1999 is the value of the box. Pop's probably gonna be a tenner going by online prices. That thing, I don't know. I'm going to guess another tenner. So I'd say the value is there and the rest of it's just sort of add-on throwaway items. But I liked it. I mean, I like that box. Is it worth the value? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, possibly. You'll have to let me know. In fact, 
What do you think of Box of Horrors? What do you think of the items? What's great? What's bad? What could be better? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to grab yourself a Box of Horrors, I'll leave links down below in the description. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button because it really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.